I am joined now by Naomi Murdoch. She's a researcher at the National Higher French Institute of Aeronautics and Space. And she joins us now from Toulouse, France. Thank you so much for being with us. So why are these pretty ordinary sounds such exciting news for NASA? Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So indeed, in order to provide information about these physical properties of the Martian soils and rocks, the SuperCam instrument has a space qualified Martian microphone. And using this microphone, we've been able to record for the very first time the sounds of Mars. And this is exciting news because these are the first sounds ever recorded at audible frequencies on the surface of Mars. So this means that they're exactly as you would hear them with your own ears if you were standing on the surface of the planet. And what's more, we can actually use these recordings to do science. So we can listen to the wind and we can determine the speed and the direction of the wind. We can study the turbulent behavior of the Martian atmosphere. And then, of okay. course, we, always have the, we also have the laser sounds, as you've just heard. So the other parts of the SuperCam instrument provide lots of information about the chemistry and the mineralogy of the surface materials. But with our SuperCam microphone that we've developed and built at Isao Superio in Toulouse, we are actually able to complement these measurements and we can listen to the amplitude of the sound when the laser fires at targets. And that can tell us something about it because when we hit a hard surface, the sound is very different to when we hit a softer surface. Okay. So our microphone and these normal measurements will allow us to constrain the hardness of these targets. Naomi, you make it sound a lot more exciting than the sounds themselves. <laughs> so thank you for, uh, for explaining that. I, I guess it's, it's really only been a couple weeks uh, for the Perseverance, but there have been a lot of firsts in that time. Indeed. Well, first of all, what a sp spectacular event the landing itself was. So congratulations again to the whole uh, Mars 2020 team um, for such a success. Um, the videos made during the entry, the descent and the landing um, were the first recordings we've seen of this type. And since then, we've turned on all of the various instruments on the rover um, for the first time to make sure everything is working properly. And of course, Perseverance has also now driven on Mars for the first time. Okay, and you know, we know NASA is also going to test a helicopter, uh, or so is their plan, T test a helicopter on the red planet. When, when can we expect that? And what do you want that helicopter to find? <laughs> yeah, you're right. So Perseverance has a helicopter, um, and its goal is actually to demonstrate whether we can or not use powered flight um, on Mars. And the reason is that the, the atmospheric pressure on the surface of Mars is really low. It's 150 times less than on Earth. So it makes it really challenging to fly and also really challenging to record sounds with our microphone, by the way. And so currently the rover is making its way to the area that's been designated for the helicopter drop off. Once we deploy it, we'll check everything's OK. And then the rover is going to move away to a safe distance um, before the helicopter flies. So um, this all takes some time, but it's already in progress. Great stuff. Naomi Murdoch, thank you so much for joining us there from Toulouse. We really appreciate it.